Today's Dominicans, a mix of African, European, and indigenous blood, are generally gregarious, jovial people. They like to live freely and expressively. But these people had a long, choppy road towards independence, beating back so many colonial powers, shrugging off the Haitians from the other side of the island, and just when it seemed like they had it, another attack on their independence, this time from the worst place, from the inside. Rafael Trujillo was the classic ruthless dictator, known as El Jefe. His time in power was one of the most brutal and repressive in the region. This is the Obelisco Macho, or manly obelisk, erected by Trujillo. Now it's decorated with murals from the group of sisters colloquially known as the Butterflies, the Mariposas, who broke his hold over the hearts and minds in this island. And when the dictator became so frustrated that he had them killed, it turned the opinion of Washington, D.C. against him as well. No longer was he, as Roosevelt put it, our son of a bitch. Suddenly he was just a son of a bitch and he had to be deposed. May 30th, 1961. Trujillo is driving down this highway, then a lonely country road when he's intercepted by a group of patriots, brandishing arms reputedly supplied by the CIA. A fierce gun battle ensues. After 30 years of brutal rule, tens of thousands dead, the dictator finally falls, his bloody corpse laying on the road. Now, Latin America has had its share of dictators, but Trujillo takes the cake. It was probably the most brutal and repressive in the region. What's important to say is that now, nowhere is Trujillo honored. Instead, there's a monument to those he tortured and to those who killed him. It's a monument to heroes, those loyal to the people, and to the country, not the dictator and his cult of personality. And what do you want to do when you get your freedom finally back? You want to dance. Okay, I'm looking for an apartment. Hey brother, soy Johnny. Hola Johnny. Hola. Muy gusto. Conocerte. Eh, nada, yo te voy a enseñar algunos pasitos bueno, bueno. De, de, de bachata. Ok. Hola. Soy bien bien. Soy Johnny. Es mi hermana Carmen. Carmen. Uh -huh. So we don't have a lot of space here, but this is definitely more roadless traveled. No slick dance studio. This home space is improvised just for me today. Iniciamos marcando con el pie izquierdo y hacemos uno, dos, tres, marco. Con el pie que marco salgo. Seis, siete y ocho. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Ok. Entonces hago uno, dos, en tres me volteo y cuatro marco. Oh, wow. Básico, cinco, seis, giro izquierda en uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ajá. It's, it's interesting that you've got this little, uh, uh backbone of, of the step and then it looks like within that step then you can play with the, 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 this spin. I imagine there's uh, there's more advanced moves but you've kind of got this little uh, crutch to hold on to which is that one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, set, hey, uh, dos, tres, hey, cinco, seis, adelante, hey, uh, dos, atrás, cinco, seis, al lado, hey, uh, dos, tres, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, vuelta izquierda, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, vuelta derecha, 5, 6, 7, en, 1, 2, 3, 4, gira ella, 7, giramos nosotros, cambio de mano, 
y giramos los dos. Bien, <risa> excelente. Ok, ok. Ok, bien. 5, 6, 7, en 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, en 1, 2, cambio de mano. Yeah. Eso, <risa> eso. Sí, en, en esta cultura aquí, en este país, si un hombre no, no puede bailar, es un... Es, ¿qué, tal, ¿Qué tal? Pasa un... Eh, bueno, tiene trabajo para conseguir chica. Se le hace difícil. <risa> porque salimos a bailar mucho. El, este país es muy cálido. Eh, nos gusta siempre estar bailando, fallestando, entonces cuando tú sales y no sabes bailar, pues te quedas sentado cuidando las carteras de las otras chicas que están bailando. <laughs> Tienes que saber bailar. Okay. <laughs> well, I feel like I got that down, but if you want to see how the Dominicans do it in their natural element, here you go. Epa! What a fantastic way to end my time in Santo Domingo.